This episode of Lifehacker is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting and Busted Tees. Welcome to Lifehacker. Today is all about food and drinks. We're gonna save some time with no need bread. We're gonna cook in the kitchen and clean up with two bowls. We're gonna figure out when we should go cheap and when it's worth spending a little extra money. I'm gonna make some coffee with my favorite coffee maker, the AeroPress. We're also gonna learn about how berries can kill you and not. We're gonna cut an onion without crying. And of course, the downloads of the day. So, let's get going. Bread is the foundation of our daily meals. Formerly, most bread was made in the home, but it took experience and a lot of hard work to turn out good bread every time. Making your own bread at home and having it turn out just right is magical. Spending hours kneading, rising, and cursing the gods is not quite so magical. Luckily, there's a way to get fresh baked bread at home without interning at a bakery. It's called the No Need Bread Recipe, and anybody with flour, yeast, and just a bit of time can tackle it. There are two versions, one about four hours, one involving an overnight, and we'll list the recipes for both at Lifehacker. But in both cases, you're mixing together dry ingredients with instant yeast, stirring in water, and then waiting for nature to do its thing. Once the dough is expanded a bit, you're going to work it a little bit, folding it on itself once or twice, forming it into a ball, and then cover it with a towel for another two hours. All that's left is baking it for about 30 to 45 minutes and making sure it's got a nice crust. It'll probably take one or two tries to get the rising just right, but soon enough you'll be turning out DIY bread that you know is wholesome. When you're in the kitchen and you're cooking or just preparing food in any sort of way, there are a couple of two bowl tricks that you can use to make things easier on yourself. The first is to have two bowls in your kitchen, like you're working in a professional kitchen so you can clean up easily. One should be filled with soapy water and a sponge for easy cleanup. Another one should be empty, so when you make uh, scraps in the kitchen and stuff you want to throw out, you can just toss them in a bowl and then when you're all done with those scraps, you can just easily take that to the garbage and throw it out. Also, if you are microwaving things, then you can use two bowls to help clean up the mess. Say you're uh, microwaving some beans, which have many explosive properties. You can put them in a bowl and then cover them up. Obviously, you won't be microwaving the can, but you can put the beans in the, in the bowl or whatever you're doing. Cover the bowl like that and then that way anything that explodes in the microwave will be caught. And so those are a couple of two bowl tricks you can use to make your cooking easier. It's really easy to equate quality with price, but often uh, the two aren't actually good corollaries. In fact, often you can pay a lot less and get just as good a quality, and you can save a lot of money in your pocketbook. So for example, if you are cooking with olive oil, you can spend a lot of money on really good olive oils, and there is a difference between cheap and high-end olive oils in terms of flavor, but if you're cooking with it, it's not worth the extra price because a lot of times what happens is when you heat up the oil, the good flavor that you get in those finer olive oils is actually cooked out and it's not going to reflect in the end product. Similarly with vodka, a lot of uh, independent sources and tests and sources that we trust like the New York Times or Slash Food have said that uh, vodka in general is one of those things that going high end is something that isn't really going to help you in the long run, especially with mixed drinks and whatnot, you're not really going to taste the results. Finally with store brand versus name brand, it's worth knowing that Often, with certain products, the manufacturers that are making the name brand are also the same people making the store brand. The difference being, of course, that they have a different label on it. So for things like aluminum foil or uh, spices or some frozen vegetables, things like that, very often it's going to be the same product with a different label and you're only going to be paying for the packaging. So uh, hit up Lifehacker for some more tips on saving money and when you should buy one thing rather than the other and go cheap. Now a short intermission, so you'll have time to make your selection before the show begins. Looking for hosting? 
HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes. Plans start at $4.95 per month, and you'll get 24-7 support, as well as access to site building tools with over 4,000 templates. You can even migrate your current site for free. If that wasn't enough, HostGator also offers you unlimited disk space and bandwidth, as well as a $100 Google AdWords credit to market your site. So why wait? Go to HostGator.com and enter the code Lifehacker at checkout to get 25% off your order or your first month free. It's showtime. For better or worse, the caffeine kick of coffee powers a lot of people's productivity in the workplace. Uh, when we're making coffee, we really, really like this AeroPress. It may look a little bit confusing, in fact it, it looks kind of science-y uh, and weird, but it's actually a really easy and quick way to make great coffee. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some sort of coffee beans. I really like uh, good beans from Intelligentsia. Uh, you'll need some hot water. You'll need your AeroPress. You'll need a mug, and if you're going to be grinding your own beans, which I'd recommend, you will need some sort of a grinder. A burr grinder is best, and you'll be looking for an extra fine grind. So let's get started. Uh, for making just one cup, we're going to put uh, about one and a half scoops in here. Um, normally, uh, you, can, you can measure this out, but one and a half is about right for one cup. And then you got to grind it. All right, once your grind is complete, you're ready to start brewing. So, take your AeroPress. You've got a filter here inside of this little container at the bottom. And you're going to want to wet your filter down a little bit. So I'll do that over here over the sink quickly. Get it good and wet, okay. And then put it screwed on top, or actually in this case on bottom, of your AeroPress. And just set it over the mug. Pop the funnel on top and pour in your grounds. Now it's a simple matter of pouring in your water. Um, the instructions I'm using here are the basic AeroPress instructions that you'll get when you buy it. If you want, Google the World Championships of AeroPress and you'll see some really incredible and pretty effective methods for making it. So now, uh, for, for this method, for one cup, you're going to pour in the hot water to around the one mark and then you're going to put in your stir stick and stir it for roughly 10 seconds. Take your stick out and it's time to plunge. Effectively what's happening here is you're creating sort of a shot. So once you plunge it down, what you should be left with is this sort of more concentrated bit of coffee. You take a little bit of water now, it's sort of like an Americano which has espresso and then water on top of it. Top it off a little bit, and you've got yourself a really tasty cup of coffee. The next time you're trapped on a deserted island and you need something to eat, you might want to try berries because that's what the movies tell us to do. Unfortunately, some berries will kill you, but there's a handy green beret mnemonic to help you remember exactly what you should eat and what will kill you. Uh, it goes a little bit like this. White or yellow, kill a fellow. Black or blue, good for you. Red might be good and might be dead. So remember that, it's pretty easy and you will survive next time you're trapped outside of civilization. Good evening, it's intermission time. We'll be back to the show in a second, but have you heard of Busted Teas? It doesn't matter if you're into video games, movies, science fiction, or just wrapping your torso with something weird yet comfortable, Busted Teas has you covered. You've probably seen a Busted Tea pop up in a movie or TV show, and now you can get one for yourself. Head over to BustedTees.com to find the shirt of your dreams, and be sure to enter the code LIFEHACKER at checkout. You'll be supporting the show and receive 10% off your order. Now, it's showtime. LIFEHACKER, how do I cut an onion without crying? If you've ever cut onions before, you know you can't just jump into it without tearing up all over the place like I'm doing right now. We've shared a ton of different tips for cutting onions without crying on Lifehacker, but my three favorites include putting the onions in the refrigerator and giving them a good chill before you cut them, 
cutting the cone out of the onion, which contains a lot of the juices that are gonna make you tear up, and putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathing in and out of your mouth as you slice so you don't get any of those juices into your sinuses. Now it's time for the downloads of the day. Hmm, what do we have here? First is our top five suggestions for recipe managers. If you've got a bunch of recipes and need to keep them organized, be sure to check these out. Next we have the Epicurious app for Android and iOS. If you want to discover new recipes easily on your mobile device, this is an app you should have. Finally, we have Grocery IQ for iOS and Android. Grocery IQ is like your grocery list, but on steroids. It can scan barcodes so you can add a product you just ran out of while you're at home. It has built-in coupons it can provide for items on your list, and it does a whole lot more. If you don't have an iOS or Android device, you can also use the Grocery IQ website. Enjoying the show? Subscribe to Lifehacker on YouTube at youtube.com lifehacker for the latest video from Lifehacker as soon as it's available. That's it for today's episode. Happy eating. Hello. Bye.